How you doing, YouTube? Matt Mass of Beer Reviews, back with a little bit of folks beer up in this piece in the form of their Foxfire. This be a American IPA, 6.2%. And as they would put it on the bottom, if you didn't read that, you would know. That would be a hazy West Coast IPA. So we're expecting a little bit of sappiness, a little bit of, a little bit of uh, dankiness, a little bit of maltiness. I'm really digging on these kind of hazy West Coasties when they're done correctly. And to be perf perfectly honest with you, Fox Farm kind of knows what they're doing when it comes to beer in general. My favorite tap rooms go drinking. Uh, Lay wise, it's awesome. It's playing. It's Fox Farm. It's what they. Er, Fox Farm. Folks beer. It's what they do. Um, that nice, soft, kind of iridescent kind of green on a black label. And that's what these West Coast hazies look like. Super turbid, thick. New England style haze with that, but just a little bit more darkness to them. Almost like you'd think there was a little bit of oxidation going on, but it's more of a malt driven beer. So, yeah, looks the part. Let's get a nose. Yeah, that smells awesome, man. Just this zesty kind of piney, zesty piney, um, vibrant, almost evergreen like mintiness to it. Um, there's a nice sweetness to it. And, but there's also a nice kind of zippy sweet kind of star fruit tropical fruit thing going on there too so it's kind of fun because you're getting a nice kind of new school kind of tropical hop with that cool kind of zesty zippy not all that danky more like eucalyptusy minty kind of west coast in this on there and this nice sweetness i like this on a nose let's dive in cheers yeah i mean i don't know why it's taking so long for a lot of people to make these kind of West Coast hazies. They've been around for a bit, but you don't see them all that often. Very few and far between. But when they're done, and they're done well, they're some of the best versions of the style that can, can be found. Because you're getting that ultra sultry, super water nerdy mouthfeel that you I, that I love um, and that I want in almost every New England style IPA I get. I mean, there is some kind of new school fruity hoppiness going on here. Citrus, that star, star uh, kiwi kind of tropical fruit thing I was talking about. But then you get that nice kind of dankiness. And yes, dankiness. I didn't really talk about that in my nose. Um, it was more of that, like I said, zippy kind of um, minty, sprucey, evergreeny kind of, uh, kind of uh, pintiness. But there is a nice dankiness to it. In combination, the way that kind of um, mintiness comes off on the beer, and it just shows up from all ends of the spectrum the way those hops kind of play. While on top of that super soft, sultry mouthfeel, it's honestly some of the best representation of West Coast IPAs as of late. Don't get me wrong, I love the classics, I really do. But when you give me that just rich, like I said, sappy dankiness that, again, didn't come off in the nose, but surprised me in the taste. With that tropical fruitiness in that mouthfeel, it's just a really, you're you're kind of almost cheating at that point. You're picking, cherry picking all the great points of all these hazy IPAs from the east to the west and putting them all in a, uh, you know, one package that makes sense. That's just not hobglobbed and jammed together for the sake of doing it. It's fucking fantastic. I love this beer. I want to drink this beer all day. 6.2%. Kind of might get in trouble on that, but tasty nonetheless. So, yeah, let's talk about it. Is this one of the better? Am I going to go hazy West Coast? No, let's go. <sighs> I have to because I can't go West Coast IPA. Look at the thing. I'm, it's not bad. Uh, it's one of the There. Let's do that. Let's cut the other end. Is this one of the better hazy beers? We're not calling out territories. This hazies that I've had as of late. Yeah. Yeah, without a doubt, up there, towards the top, wants to be Mount Rushmore status. That's how good this is. Showcasing both influences from east to west in a very pretty package. I love this beer. Value availability? No idea. Keith, let me know what's what, or anybody out there in the NYC, and leave you with, or you, you, know, you can be from Antarctica if you know the price point on this, honestly. I don't give a shit, so let me know. And leave you with, if you like what we like this, if you like new school haze, you like old school west coast, and you're cool. It's almost like, you know, you're, it's, it's like you're, you dig on Biggie and Pac, man. You're just like, I don't want to get in the middle of this. You got your east, you got your west. It's cool, man. Let's all hang out, have a good time. If that's your jam, this is your jam. So there I go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out in the social media stuff. Beer massive. You want to check me out in the whole podcasting thing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a little bit of uh, east meets west haze. Hopefully see you next time. Cheers.